Oh, sweet. They have a Lando. Dude, I've been looking everywhere for a Lando. Like, um, where? Hey, buddy, it is our lucky... Hey, cheers. Cheers. Hello, everybody. Jordan Gasly here. And also joined, uh, once again, by the... The plastic punk himself, <laughs> Richard. Also, uh, it's Richard's birthday weekend, so everybody yeah. in the comments, leave uh, Richard a happy birthday message. Happy birthday, buddy. Thank you. Man. You're very welcome. How does how does uh, 36 feel? Just like 35. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we are going to go out on another toy hunt, and finally, the cold weather has arrived in Georgia, which is why we're filming the intro in my car, because it's like super windy out. And uh, I just, I don't feel like dealing with that. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> so, uh, I will, before we get into uh, what what we're looking for today on this hunt, uh, a couple things. One, please subscribe to the channel. Yes. That would be fantastic. Uh, also, go check out Richard's new Instagram. I'll leave uh, a link in the description below and I'll leave a little screenshot right here of what it looks like so you can, uh, you know what it is whenever you find it. Uh, second, we are, or third, that's third. Yeah. <laughs> I, I went to college. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, third, we're headed to the South Carolina Retro, Retro Toy Con. It's going to be in Greenville next Saturday. So Saturday, November 19th. If you're out and about and you see us, Stop us, say hi, or just come and hang out with us. We we want to hang out, and Absolutely. we want to. You want to? Let's let's hang out. Let's spend ungodly amounts of money <laughs> on plastic, uh, and just all have a good time. Uh, and another thing, or uh, the last thing before we we jump into it is, uh, I wasn't filming this day, but I did uh, find some things at a Target. So I am going to go ahead and insert the clip and show you right here. I found these. And we're back. So, uh, Richard, what are you looking for today? Um, I've heard and seen that uh, the both versions of the Ronin figure have been popping up in Walmarts. So the armored and the unarmored? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's on your list? Both of them are on your list? Both of them are on my list. Ooh, I like the armored one. Yeah. That's the that's the one I like. Uh, let's see. But is that it, or are you looking for anything else? Um, just some casual stuff. I've already got it on pre-order, but if I find some of the Viper, uh, not Viper. The Pit Vipers, right? The Pit Vipers, yeah. I might grab a couple of those, but I've already got them on pre-order, so it's just an extra, yay, I got it early. Fair enough. I, I wouldn't mind finding a Pit Viper myself. Uh... I wouldn't mind finding a Cobra officer from, not from the recent wave, but from the previous wave, with Storm Shadow and Spirit. Yeah. Uh, the, that's the one I didn't pick up. So if I see one of those, I'll probably pick that up. Uh, but I am looking for the point blank figure from the Transformers mm -hmm. Legacy wave, which has been hitting. So uh, let's go in and see what we can find. Oh, I might need a coffee. <laughs> Starting nice. off things strong right here with old Ironhide. When, oh man, we just missed the rumble. I don't know, is there another one? I don't see it. What do we have? Tarantulas, Little One, RC. So it looks like the newish stuff was here, but we missed it. There's 86 RC. Keep saying that's the best uh, G1 RC that we've gotten so far. Our Tonka, our Tonka crossover, Constructicons. Some Black Adam figures. Yeah, nothing too new or exciting over here. Oh, wait, hold on. Good. Power there's, Ring. Yeah, there's that Power Ring. I saw that the Owl Man is starting to go on clearance, so hopefully, if I get lucky, because uh, I, again, I just wanted for the Star Row pieces. Yeah. Let's see, anything new? On, nope. Business as usual for G.I. Joe. We've been down for Marvel Legends. Man, look at all those Future Foundation Spider-Mans just hanging out. Swinging around. Nothing too crazy. I have not really seen much new AEW in quite a while. I haven't seen anything new hit the shelves yet. Yeah, let's see. Nothing 
new or exciting on Black Series either. Somebody dropped some Speedball Marvel Legends down there. Motu. Nothing. Oof. Not, not that great of a start. Well, we did see that Iron yeah, Hyatt, so that's good. Uh, you know what? Maybe. Just kind of randomly. Just hanging out. Just hanging out. Again, if they, they put one out in the holiday special mm. packaging, I'll buy it. <laughs> Until then, animated boba can stay right there. Walking up to NECA section part one. Got our mummy accessory set. <laughs> that mispackaged uh, Zack and Smash is still there. This is primarily monstery stuff over here. There's a stray Hordak. I don't see anything new though. No, this looks about like it was mm, that two weeks ago when we passed by. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you want to go check the other second? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Let's try a look. NECA section number two. I got another mummy accessory set. It's such a good accessory set. I can't wait for the Frankenstein and the Dracula one. Yeah, if that's kind of the precursor to what they all are going to be like, mm -hmm. I'm going to be very happy. Let's see. Nothing too new jumping out at me. Yeah, well, there's one of the... There we go. Rest in peace, Kevin Conroy. Now I'm kind of debating on if I want to buy that, but it's like, do I do I want it because I want it, or do I want it just because of all the, the buzz around Kevin Conroy, who, who, for the record, uh, is my favorite Batman of all time. He's the defendant. Batman. I agree. He's betrayed the character more than anyone in history. <sighs> I do. Wait, hold on a second. I just saw this. Uh, the Beastie Boys <laughs> sabotage. sabotage reaction figure from Super Seven. Are there more? There's a Boba Fett. Get out of here, Boba Fett. No one asked you. There we go. Look at that. It's all three of them. All three of them. Rest in peace, MCA. Hopped over to a Walmart. Let's see, we got a Bray Wyatt of the WWE Superstars. We got Ric Flair, Dead Man, Ultimate Warrior. I don't know if I want to get out of the way right there. Do I want this Undertaker? Like, it's cool. I don't know. It's pretty awesome. I've kind of been sticking yeah. to the old guys. I don't know. Just, just because that's like kind of a rollover from the WWE Masters. Yeah, I feel like I would just be buying it to buy it. Like, because I, I want to spend money. Yeah. So I'm trying not to do that. Let's see, we have our AEW Walmart exclusive Cody Rhodes right here. Some Motu sure Origins, one of these Rotons. the Rotons. I just have a feeling that they're gonna go, they're on sale. Mm -hmm. um, because a lot of the Motu stuff goes on sale either at Target or on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Like this time last year, I got a Wind Raider for $12 on Amazon. Jeez. So it was, it, it was, I just, so as much as, yeah, I do want them, mm -hmm. but I just, I can, I, I can be patient. I can be patient. Wait it out, yeah. Pro tip for everybody watching, just be patient on these guys. Oh, what's so funny is like this is obviously scaled up to mass mm -hmm. to match with the master race. Right. There's our Walmart exclusive Adam Page. And it looks like we have a whole peg of those. And just some older AEW. I have not seen new AEW in forever. I feel like I said that once already this video. <laughs> Let's walk down this it's way. Just a point that needs to be emphasized. Yes. <laughs> Oh, sweet, they have a Lando. Dude, I've been looking everywhere for a Lando. Like, um, where? Hey, buddy, it is our lucky... Hey, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Let's see. So nothing exciting in Star Wars. Anything up here? Nope. Mm -hmm. I do like that the superpowers pegs are always full. I mean, I think, I know people are buying them because people actively collect these, but it just, it warms my heart whenever I just see something that's consistently stocked. Well, and also the interesting thing is like those like highly sought after, we've seen quite mm -hmm. a few times, like the Batman Who Laughs, mm -hmm. the, uh, 
I think like the Flash yeah, came out and the, the Green Lantern. The Dark Side looks pretty cool. I do still kind of want to get one of these. Yeah, the but, but that's just my nostalgia of calling out, calling out to me. Well, another thing is it's not going to hurt your wallet all that much. I mean, nah. the figure's like 10 bucks. Yeah. This is 30. Yeah, it was 20. I think yeah. they bumped it up to 30. Should have bought up. it when it was 20. Uh, let's see. G.I. Joe, we got that Baroness on the retro card. Got that re release of the Siege. Yeah, the one, without the, uh, the one without the battle damage. Yep. Yeah. Let's see. Transformers. There's a Velocitron hauler. And our. Velocitron Scourge. I do like the way that looks, but I don't know I if I'm going to jump in on another $55 figure for that. Let's see, the Walmart exclusive stuff. Let's see, Legacy. No. Nothing on the core class. Whew. Well, I guess, I guess we'll just head on back to the NECA section. Hey, Jordan. No, no. Want an NFT? A new fucking toy? I do. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> ah, yeah. and there's a reason they're still hanging around. Yeah. I, I think I, I think this entire section looks exactly the same. Wait, hold on. Oh, snap. I That's take it take take different. it back. That's new. Look at that. Suicide Squad gift set. 125 bucks. We got these guys. And Mr. King Shark himself. I spoke too soon. I was about yeah. to say, I think it looks exactly the same. We both saw it at the same time. But, you know, we got all the... We got all the Snoopy and Peanuts stuff over here. Yeah, Frank's Snoopy. There's a few new ones. Like that Secret Agent Snoopy is new. Mm -hmm. From the last time we were here. Alright, maybe I did speak too soon. Nothing, nothing that I'm leaving with, but... That's the first time I'm actually seeing a King Shark figure. And it not having a $150 price tag on itself. Yeah. I've seen it in cons. <laughs> in cons but no thanks. Issue. Let's see. And fun kind of stuff that I don't care about. Mm. Popped into a Target. And look at that. A Gremlins accessory set. It. Not too shabby. Anything else? New Nugget? We got that new creep show that we found last week. Uh, they have some of the... Two packs. Two packs. There's another Batman. Okay. And uh, some some places the uh, the Frankie has been starting mm -hmm. to show up. I'm going to try my best to talk over this to not get copyrighted, but I haven't seen this uh, Star Wars Throne Room Book of Boba Fett figure before. But look at that. Ooh, ah, talking over the copyrighted music. Don't copyright me, YouTube. It was a little crowded in the aisle a second ago, but we have some newish vintage collection with the Ahsoka Trooper and the Figman Dan. I've actually not seen that one in person yet. I feel like I saw that. Uh oh. It's Wait, beginning to look a lot like Christmas. A Christmas Mando? Christmas Mando. Christmas Mando is here. Oh, there's two Christmas Mandos. Two Christmas. That's the uh, Target exclusive. Mm -hmm. uh, man, I wonder what our odds of finding some of the Halloween stuff, left, yeah. the leftover Halloween Troopers are. Uh, nothing too crazy and wrestling. WCW or yeah. Let's see. These Avatar figures. Light year stuff that's still hanging around. Motu. Nothing exciting. I mean, this is pretty exciting, but it's been out for a minute, though. Let's see. Transformers. We got six iron hides over here. We counted a minute ago. Yeah. Well, you we can see what's going on in the NECA section. Oh, moseyed on over to the NECA section, and look at this. This is new. The Ninja Turtles Renette figure. I I don't know too much about this character and the comic book stuff. I did get the Slash about a month ago. I didn't realize that was there. But um, her storyline and image actually inspired the third Ninja Turtles movie. If you'll notice, the the staff kind of looks the same. Oh, I, I did not notice that. I didn't know that at all. Actually, that's pretty cool. All right. Third target, and uh, we got another row of Ironhide, so these guys are starting to hit pretty hard. 
nothing new in the core class stuff, which is a bummer. Cup, still not on clearance. Let's see, what do we got? DC animated flash. It's kind of nice. Uh, power ring again. Let's see, some of the mega figures down there. We got the, the Joker and the Blue Beetle Booster Gold 2-pack. Nothing. Man, look at this eye. This is kind of like barren. Yeah. One lonely Thor figure. I got a bunch of Peter and yeah. Ned. Yeah, let's see what's on the next aisle. And look who I found. It is uh, Thunder Rosa. Actually, I don't think I've seen this in person yet. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen this. It's the first so. time I've seen her on the show. Anna J. Let's see, we got a bunch of the snowy mandos and the other snowy mandos. <laughs> Do I want Thunder Rosa? I kind of want Thunder Rosa. I kind of, I kind of want Thunder Rosa. I'll think about it. To be, to be determined. Let's see. Let's see. What else we got? We got that She-Ra. Motu Origins. Do I want Thunder Rosa? To be determined. Yeah, the NECA section doesn't really have anything too new, although it is incredibly stocked, which is fantastic. Uh, but they do have the glow-in-the-dark Frankenstein from the glow-in-the-dark uh, wave that they've been, NECA has been putting out. So that's cool to see. Yeah, so we're uh, walking out of the last Target of the day, and I just realized I didn't film anything in there. And we actually both, <laughs> so the one Target of the day where we find something, and uh, I forget to film it. So <laughs> yeah, anyway, you'll see what I got later. Hello, and welcome back to the Ghastly Crypt. I don't know why I just did a lot of hand motions. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Uh, let's see, okay, so Richard and I went out today. It was a little bit more of a smaller toy hunt. We didn't go to all of the places that we normally go. And we also didn't really see a lot of new stuff or interesting stuff. I did pick up something, which you saw in the last clip. Uh, but today, or not today, but uh, this week has been a very interesting week as far as stuff coming in. So I have a bunch of stuff to show you that Stuff I had on order or stuff that people picked up for me while they were out and about uh, in their toy hunting travels. Uh, so let's just go ahead and move on to the haul portion. You ready? I'm ready, let's do it. The first thing that I picked up uh, is what uh, I had my eye on today. And that is the Transformers Legacy Point Blank and his Target Master. I know the rest of the wave had been hitting. I had actually just found the Dead End and uh, what was the other one? Oh, the Skullgrin uh, the week before, which you saw the clip. But so you, you know that I have him. Uh, so I picked up this guy and what a great companion piece for the other three figures in the wave than the final character of a crankcase. And I was really excited whenever they had announced that they were doing crankcase just because uh, crankcase, the G1 crankcase, is one of those weird towards the end of the line uh, Transformer characters. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus on this and not me. No? Is it not being nice? Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he was one of those figures that came out towards the end of the line. He was one of the cheaper figures, and I think he was due for an update. So, shout out to Hasbro. Uh, so, I've got all the deluxes from Wave 3 of Transformers Legacy. Now I just need to find the Voyager Inferno from Beast Wars, and I think that wave will be complete for me. I don't, I don't really care much for the Armada Starscream figure, but that Inferno is going to be hot. Keeping it in the family with Transformers, I did pick up the Studio Series 86 Ironhide. And, uh, you know, I had the previous Ironhide from uh, Transformers Earthrise, which came in like that, that Amazon 2-pack. But whenever they announced this one, I thought, this is, this is going to be the one. So I really hope that 
later on down the line, they decide to repaint this as Ratchet because I think that would also be a solid G1 Ratchet. So, Transformers, Point Blank, Crankcase, Ironhide, Studio Series 86. Let's move on to see what else I got this week. Okay, so the next three pieces I want to show you came from uh, the website Nerdzoic. And uh, I'm a fairly new customer when it comes to Nerdzoic. I don't really like to buy uh, uh, a lot of stuff from, from e-tailers, but I, I decided to give Nerdzoic a shot a handful of months ago, and I, it's actually where I got my Wave 2 of, of my Transformers Legacy figures. And they came like super fast. Like this is also this is not a sponsored video by Nerdzoic. I'm just praising the fact that it is a fantastic website. Uh, so uh, I decided that uh, like early Monday morning this past week, I had some stuff in my cart and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna pull the trigger on it. So uh, I went ahead and ordered a few pieces. Uh, I'll show you what I got there. And I do have an extra story about one piece, but also the company as a whole. So bear with me. But the first thing I got from them has been on my radar, and that is the NECA Hudson figure from the Gargoyles line. I was not expecting to really enjoy this Gargoyles line. I didn't really watch the show uh, much growing up. I watched it and I enjoyed it, but I didn't love it. Now I'm like rediscovering it as an adult through, uh, through this line and Disney Plus, and the show is fantastic. Uh, I, I love it. And Hudson is actually my favorite of the Gargoyles. He's like the older wise wise guy who, wise guy, not like he cracks jokes, but why, like wise man, like an Obi-Wan Kenobi type type character. Uh, and he was actually the leader of the, of the Gargoyles before Goliath. And I don't know, there's something about Hudson that I really like. He was also voiced by Ed Asner. <laughs> so, uh, but Gargoyles, Hudson, this line looks fantastic. I've I've received every one so far. I, I that's a lie. I didn't buy the uh, th thylog. So, uh, but the Hudson is great. I don't know why I tap the, all my stuff. <laughs> but hey, look at this. I need to stop doing that. The next thing I got from Nerd Zoic uh, was something I was on the fence on. I didn't know if I wanted to buy it, but I read the story and I loved it, so I went for it. And I picked up the Armored Last Ronin from the Ninja Turtles line that they do. So go ahead and take a look there. It looks fantastic. You get two different head sculpts, a bunch of weapons. Who is the Last Ronin? Well, if you haven't read it, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Uh, also, uh, don't read the internet if you don't want to be spoiled. But fantastic story. Absolutely loved this. I'm slowly kind of coming back around to some Ninja Turtle stuff. Earlier this year, if you would have asked me if I was going to collect Ninja Turtle stuff, I would have said, nah, not my thing. I like the Ninja Turtles, I just don't love them. Uh, but I, I've picked up a fairly decent amount of Ninja Turtle stuff this year, and I'm really happy to add this last Ronin figure to the shelf. The final thing that I picked up from Nerdzoic, and this is the one that has the story about it, uh, is the E.T. 40th Anniversary Deluxe Light Up E.T. Let's see, let me open it up. I don't know if you can tell from the, uh, the figure, but it has like a little spot in its chest right here, right here that lights up. Let's see, you can see, and it also comes with the the phone to phone home with. Uh, and the story about this is that this actually isn't the figure that I ordered from Nerdzoic. Uh, there was the $35 standard ET figure that didn't light up and it came with some slightly different accessories. I think it came with uh, a plant, a shot like the, the little towel or, or blanket to drape over them, and uh, some some a little thing of not Reese's Pieces. So uh, it was like peanut butter bites candy or something. I guess they couldn't get the rights for Reese's Pieces. Anyway, so that's the one that I ordered and that was the $35 price point. This is the deluxe light up version, which is the $45 price point. And when uh, my stuff showed up, uh, I, I looked at it and for a second there, I was like, hey, wait a minute, something's, something's not right. And then uh, I noticed that this was the deluxe version. I'm like, I don't remember 
buying the deluxe version. So I went back online, I checked my order receipt, and sure enough, I ordered the $35 one. So I sent an email to Nerdzoic, uh, and, and Matt, the guy who runs Nerdzoic, uh, he goes by Big Nerdy. <laughs> so shout out to Big Nerdy. Um, I emailed him and I said, hey, listen, man, I think there was a mix up with my order. I actually ordered the $35. You sent me the $45 one. Now, I know what some of you are probably thinking, like, dude, you got the better figure. Why don't you just keep the better figure and shut up about it? Uh, I'm going to be honest. I don't like putting that kind of energy and collecting karma out in the world. Um, so also, I realized that Nerdzoic is a small online business, and I used to work for small businesses, so $10 might actually be a lot to a retailer. So uh, I, I wanted to make things right, and I said, hey, listen, there was a mix-up on my order. I ordered the $35. You guys actually sent me the $45 one. Um, I'm more than happy to hold on to the $45 one and pay the $10 difference. It was only $10. Uh, and... Um, and I said, you know, I'll pay the difference if you'd like, so that way we can avoid shipping and reshipping, and it would just be all cheaper overall. And uh, the next day he got back to me, and, you know, he, he apologized for the mix-up, which, no apology necessary, but, you know, I, I appreciate it, but I understand things things uh, get mixed up, and, and streams get crossed, if you will, from time to time, so I, I wasn't angry by, by any means. Um, and uh, he, he said... You know, that was our mess up, that's on us. So uh, my only concern is, are you happy with the figure? If you're happy with the figure, then you can keep it and the $10 is on us, no issue whatsoever. And uh, it just so happened that uh, Mrs. Gasly really loves E.T. And when she saw that this one lit up with the chest, she was like, well, that's the one I wanna keep now. So <laughs> I said, I'm more than happy to keep this one, but I was also more than willing to pay the $10 difference. And he insisted that I just, I hold on to this one uh, if I was happy with it. So I want to give a very big thank you and big shout out to Matt, AKA Big Nerdy, and his site Nerdzoic. I'll put a graphic uh, and I'll put a link in the description down below. Um, fantastic gentlemen to converse with and uh, Nerdzoic will be getting a lot of my business in the future, uh, most definitely. Also, their shipping is super fast. I ordered this on a Monday and I think I got it on a Wednesday. So it's not like, it was fantastic. So Nerdzoic, Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And the last two, I wanna give a shout out to another collecting friend of mine. Uh, he goes by the name NJ Tree. So if you follow him on Instagram, it's at NJ Tree. Uh, he lives up close uh, to, or he lives in the Jersey area and he went to the Legions Con, which was to celebrate all thing Mythic Legions and Cosmic Legions. And, and other other uh, nicer, like higher-end toy lines. Uh, and there were some exclusives that were you can only get at the convention, and he asked if he could pick anything up for me. And I said, you know, there is one that I would really like. He told me, give me a list. I'm going to be there all day with some buddies. You're not putting me out. Just give me a list, and then I'll give you a total, and then uh, we can settle up after I ship. I said, okay, thanks. I appreciate it. So NJ Tree hooked me up with a couple of the uh, Mythic Legions figures that I had on my to buy list. And the first one I wanna show you uh, is one of the Mythic Legions uh, in lore for Horsemen. This is Aether, their god of war. So I picked up the uh, Alithia, if you remember a handful of videos ago, I picked up the Alithia who was the goddess of famine uh, and or horse, not goddess, um, horseman of famine. So uh, this is the horseman of war, uh, Aether, and it just looks really badass. I love the fire effect, the flame effect on the head, and I've actually already opened this one and messed around with them a little bit. The, God, I just, I love the Mythic Legions line. I'm really happy that uh, I, do, I started to dive in on, on this line, and some fantastic sculpts, some fantastic figures, and some fantastic lore around it. I love like the the dark fantasy stuff, uh, and which is weird because I'm not typically a fantasy person per se. But for some reason, the Mythic Legions lore and fantasy stuff just really like 
really hits the nail on the head for me. So, absolutely love the Aether figure. One more look at this Aether figure. Look at this artwork on the back. Yeah, fantastic artwork. I actually almost thought that I missed out on this figure just because uh, it came out a year or so ago, and it was starting to get hard to find, but, uh, you know, Four Horsemen had it at their uh, table and was able to to pick that one up for the Four Horsemen cost and not the aftermarket cost. Which brings us to the final thing that my buddy NJ Tree picked up for me, and that is the Saturday convention exclusive, and I'm so excited to have this. This is such a cool figure. This is the unknown one, and it's this, uh, you can't really tell on the video, it doesn't show up, but the armor's got like this, this uh, very dark burnt burgundy. Uh, it, it looks almost black, but when you get right on top of it, it looks stunning. And the, the convention exclusive has the, uh, the skull head right there, and Fantastic. Again, I've already opened this to mess around with it, but I put it back in the box just to show uh, all of you. And look at this fantastic piece of art of the unknown one. So you, uh, in order to get this, you had to be at Legion's Con on Saturday to get this. I know that they released the remainder online and some people were lucky to get it, but uh, NJ Tree was there and he, he was with a buddy who was also buying some exclusives. So he picked one up for me while he was there, and I, I greatly appreciate it. So NJ Tree, if you're watching, much appreciated, man. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you hanging out in that very long line. So I owe you one for sure. That's going to do it, though, for the haul. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said at the beginning of this video, Richard and I are going to head to the Retro Toy Con in Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, next Saturday. I think it's November 19th is the date on that. So if you're going to be out there and you see us, stop and say hi. Take a picture with us. Chat with us. You want to be in the video? I'll put you in the video. I love whenever people come up and be like, hey, I watch your videos. So, which has only ever happened like once, maybe twice. But just know that uh, it, it really means a lot to me that you guys watch the videos and if you, you get some kind of joy or happiness from them, um, man, that's, that means the absolute world to me. And I think there's a solid online toy collecting community and I'm just happy to be part of it. And I'm happy to uh, have made some really cool friends, uh, through the collecting community as well. So on that note, it's the end of the video. Have a good time. We'll see you real soon. Stay spooky.